I'm here at the California Department of Education uh, for the meeting, the final meeting, to vote to approve or disapprove this new history and social sciences curriculum. I'm still here at the California Department of Education. It is not even 8 a.m. in the morning, but as you can see, as you can see around me, the place is packed out. The place is packed out. People were bussed in. Yeah. So I'm standing outside of the Department of Education. With, uh, we're telling them, don't erase cash from history and social sciences curriculum. Don't erase the truth and the facts about the oppression of people by the subjugating system of caste in India, by giving in to the lobbyists who are demanding a inaccurate, a factless, a partisan and a mythological portrayal, uh, and they want to suppress the truth about caste oppression. This is in response to what? This is in response to the inaccurate and biased partisan portrayal in new California textbooks for history and social sciences, which erases the reality and the truth of what the caste system in South Asia has done to, mo to the most downtrodden, the most poor people there. Yeah, it erases it erases the reality of the subjugation of people by the caste system. Yeah, as you can see, caste is being erased from history and social sciences curriculum textbooks today by the California Board of Education. I'm here today, this morning, outside of the California Department of Education, where the Hindu nationalist lobby which massacres Christians, Sikhs, and Muslims, and subjugates Dalits, people tr historically treated as low caste or outcast in India, has turned masses of people out onto the streets. What they are really demanding is that there should be no portrayal of the reality, the factual, accurate truth of the historical subjugation, the ongoing subjugation of people according to their caste in India today and they're demanding that history textbooks in California for 6th and 7th grade kids should not tell the truth, should conceal the truth about how Hinduism is connected to caste, about how caste is practiced in India today, about how people are murdered, beaten, raped because of their caste if their demands are, are accepted caste will be portrayed as creating social stability, which is kind of like saying that apartheid created social stability. They also are demanding that uh, caste be portrayed as uh, outcast or untouchable people who historically have been compelled, coerced, forced uh, to be trash collectors, for instance. They're demanding that uh, they be portrayed as having picked this profession because they were good at it, which is kind of like saying that somebody chose that the African people who were enslaved in the southern plantation chose to pick cotton because they were good at it. And so this mob is attempting to coerce and intimidate the Department of Education of California to portray a mythologized, inaccurate, and, and, biased, and biased perspective on caste which conceals the ongoing reality of the subjugation of people according to their caste in India today. And they say instill mutual respect, not hate, which is true, but the truth, the truth is love. Excuse me, do you support the RSS? What is RSS? RSS Shriya Swayam Sevak Song. Do you support them? I don't know what it is. Do you support the BJP? Do you support Modi? Who's Modi? Yes. Who's Modi? You're an Indian, you don't know. Excuse me, do you support the RSS? Modi, do you support Modi? Yeah, do you support Modi? Excuse me, do you support Modi? Yes. yes. Do you support Modi? Do we support Modi? Modi, BJP? Yeah. Modi is big Dumb. friend of Modi. Modi has You're a big friend of Modi. Modi has done amazing job for India. So Excuse me, do you support Modi? Yeah. Yeah. Do you support Modi, sir? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, you support Modi? Yeah. Well, the uh, Hindu Nationalist Lobby has turned up people en masse in front of the California Department of Education in order to support erasing the truth about caste subjugation in India and the way that it has harmed and continues to harm the most downtrodden, downtrodden and the poorest people in India today. And they're trying to influence the textbooks in California by mob rule. They're trying to revise the history of South Asia by mob rule and use the power of their numbers in order to intimidate the California State Board of Education into lying about the reality of how caste continues to harm, subjugate people in India today, how the Shudras, the Adi Shudras uh, today in India are oppressed, they are discriminated against, they're beaten, raped, and killed on a daily basis. And their argument is that caste uh, should be silent when uh, the history of South Asia and the history of Hinduism is taught to 6th and 7th grade school children in California. And basically it's kind of like somebody trying to silence the history of apartheid or the history of slavery or the history of other forms of racism and uh, the history of other forms of oppression and structures of power which have subjugated people around the world and continue to subjugate them to this day. And so I've studied Gandhi for a decade. These people apparently have not read Gandhi himself. And Gandhi himself said, to abolish caste is to demolish Hinduism. So the chief saint of the modern world, the leading Hindu of the modern world himself said that caste is Hinduism. Every subject of Hinduism is the practice of the caste system. Manusmriti, Rig Veda, all of the Hindu Shastras teach the existence, the practice of caste in the Hindu religion. Read your Shastras, read the Hindu scriptures that you doubt that caste is linked to Hinduism. Read Rig Veda. Rig Veda says that the god Brahma, that humanity was created from the separation of the god Brahma into four parts. His head became the Brahman, his shoulders became the, Ve the Kshatriya, his thighs became the Vaishya, and his feet, his feet became the Shudra. Why does Rig Veda teach that the Shudra came from God's feet? And if you believe in equality, then how can you believe in caste? And if you believe in equality, then how can you believe in Rig Veda? Caste is foundational to the Hindu religion. So either you have to practice caste and embrace it as a Hindu and be open about it, or you have to switch your religion and don't want to practice caste. Once again, Gandhi said, Gandhi said, Gandhi said, the caste is a scientific system. Gandhi said, reason does not revolt against the practice of caste. The caste is apartheid. There is a caste apartheid in India today. And what you're seeing today is a mob cruel attempt to revise history to tell history from a biased, partisan, mythological perspective and to use numbers and crowds and mob rule to intimidate the Department of Education in California into telling lies and factually incorrect information to school children in this state. Hey! Board of Education, we don't want you with education. Hey, Board of Education, we don't want you with education. Hey, Board of Education, we don't want you with education. Hey, Board of Education, we don't want you with education. Hey, Board of Education, we.